Hey guys, what's up? So I'm gonna do with another video and today is May 30th and we have one more day in May but I wanted to come to you guys pretty much with a month review of the month May. So I did return to YouTube in April, April 30th. So it's been like 30 days, one month since I've been completely back. And um, I'm so proud, I didn't even notice until I was editing yesterday, that this month, because of the egg diet and keto, I was able to lose over 20 pounds. So that's amazing. Um, yesterday I told you guys I weighed in at 2.30. And this morning I officially weighed in at 2.29. So that means this month I've completely made more than <laughs> the weight I expected to lose. Um, I didn't have a set number for this month, but it's really nice to have the 20 pounds down. Um, I started off at 249, which you can go and watch my um, I'm back video or the first day of the egg diet that I did. and. You'll see like how I was, my face was completely different, even me going back and looking at it, it's like shocking to me to see how different just one month has made and how much of a difference 20 pounds makes. And I'm excited for June and to continue on with these challenges to really improve my overall well-being, my overall physical appearance, and just feel a lot better about myself. So I really just wanted to do a month in review of how I achieved 20 pounds in one month. Those of you who have been watching me day by day, you know exactly what I've been doing, the struggles I had through doing them. But this is like a May recap of what I did from pretty much April 30th until now, May 30th. So I started the month off doing the egg diet. I completed it in eight days. I stopped doing it because there was Mother's Day. So I did enjoy that celebration on Mother's Day by eating chocolate covered strawberries, you know, just your normal celebration. I had seafood boil during Mother's Day as well. So I did the eight days of the egg diet and for the egg diet, I lost 13 pounds. And then I just completed keto and today would be my eighth day of keto. And waking up this morning at 2.29 means that for the egg diet, I did lose a total of six pounds. So that would leave it at around 19 pounds lost from um, between those two. But because the egg diet, I did end up weighing in again after um, Mother's Day on that Tuesday, I believe. That's where that extra pound came in because I was able to get my body back a little bit more. So then the egg diet pretty much was about 14 pounds lost and then six pounds lost on keto it it doesn't make sense then you can go back and watch those videos because i have pretty much day by day <laughs> explaining everything that was happening and um yeah i'm really excited i'm really happy i definitely see the difference just looking from day one to now day 30 and it's exciting because usually i don't get to see the progress especially so quickly but i'm excited that this month I've lost a total of 20 pounds and I'm just ecstatic and ready to keep going. So for the month of June, which is technically two days away because we have the 31st and then the 1st, I plan on incorporating exercise. So one of my challenges is going to be to try to complete 21 days of an exercise program. Um, I'm between... 10 rounds which is a beach body program insanity max 30 which is also a beach body program and um insanity no not insanity transfer in 20. so those are the three programs i'm still trying to figure out which one works best for me that i'm going to be introducing as my fitness program 
I also want to walk one mile a day. So one mile a day, you know, slow pace, however I feel, just complete one mile a day. Maybe I'll eventually start to jog it out, but since I have a treadmill, I just want to complete simply one mile a day. That's the challenge. I'm going to do 21 days of active activity and that's gonna be on the schedule. So I think some of them are like five days and then two days off. And every single day, that means Monday through Sunday, <laughs> I will be doing one mile. Um, so it's gonna be like 30 days of doing a mile every day and 21 days of challenging myself to do some type of physical activity. Of course, I will be letting you guys know how my diet goes, what I'll do with my diet. So far, I've still just been sticking with keto because as i told you guys i suffered enough for the first four to five days <laughs> i'm just gonna stick with it until i have a reason not to and since i still have the foods and everything i'm trying to finish those off and then see where i go from there um the only thing that is missing really for me would be my starches and my grains which is usually my rice my sweet potatoes those are the two things oh and my oats those are the two things missing with keto but for now i feel good i feel fine so i don't really mind sticking with keto for right now i'm still not eating after seven o'clock and i'm um, having water as the first thing i intake in the morning so i try to do at least 12 hours of dry fasting no water no anything <laughs> for 12 hours and then in the morning i try to the first thing to have in the morning is going to be my water so that's just what i've been doing it's been working i um did a comparison video because i just wanted to see what it looked like from that first video until now and i am happy with the results very happy with the results and happy to continue on this journey tomorrow will be the first day i'm not sure if i'm going to start on the 31st or the first but i'll let you guys know for sure um which one will be the first day of me actually exercising i wanted to start on a monday but maybe i'll end up starting on a tuesday so that it can be aligned with everything else in my schedule but i'll definitely make sure to let you guys know when i am absolutely sure about everything i am excited for this new month i'll let you know about the diet i'll let you know about the weight i'm gonna of course do on june 1st a body shot again so that i can mark it month by month as well as week by week <laughs> my weight and um i'm just excited for another month of this and really focusing on myself again i'm happy that i've gotten the diet part pretty much down pack of what i like and what i don't like and i can't wait to just find my balance in everything and being able to eat consciously <laughs> anything i want but like i said right now i'm just gonna stick with keto until i'm able to fully have a written out plan of things that i want to do and i'm excited to just see my body transform and document this process i just want to thank you guys so much for your support for constantly being here talking me through things explaining things giving me recipes and just knowing that you got this i got this and we got this it really makes this process a whole bunch easier so i just want to say thank you guys so much and i'm excited to continue on this journey if you guys haven't already definitely make sure to hit that thumbs up button and don't forget to subscribe if you haven't and turn your notification bell so that you can be notified every time i post a video i love you guys i love you guys i love you guys and i will see you guys tomorrow in the next video thank you guys so much for watching